there and welcome back to my channel so today we have a light-hearted video I'm sure you'll be pleased to know this is not going to be a heavy video it's not going to include lots of screenshots this is going back to my roots this is me in my comfort zone this is an AliExpress haul. So today I'm going to be showing you some makeup that I got from AliExpress. I also have a couple of fashions that I got from AliExpress. I think fashions may be the incorrect word to use, but I have some clothing items to show you. I don't generally gravitate towards buying clothes from AliExpress because I've been burnt in the past. Honestly, I have. I always get dragged in by the photos of, you know, the cute models wearing clothes looking so fabulous and the clothes look great and then when the clothes turn up to me and, and I try them on, I'm just like, mm-mm, uh-uh, not today, sister, not today. They never look the same as they do in the photos. The clothes on AliExpress is kind of like the Tinder, the Tinder of AliExpress. You just get clothes fished. Anyway, 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 but, 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 I let my guard down and I purchased two items, which I'm going to show you uh, at the end of the video. But to begin, to begin, I'm going to show you the makeup that I bought. So the first items that I got are by Hand Diane, and these are, um, they're coloured I forgot what they were. These are the coloured eyebrow promenades. So I got three different shades. I got a purple, I got a red, I got a blue. I have tried the purple and the red in a um, a recent video that I did where I, I just went off piste really. I just let my creative juices flow and I created what kind of looked like a butterfly wing on my eye but not really, honestly. If you look from far away, you could see it's a butterfly wing. But then when you came in close, not really. It just looked like a pile of mess. But I did use these two uh, promenades and they were amazing. Like amazing. So easy to use, like super creamy, pigmented. Like they were not emollient because I find that you know, with uh, some promenades that I've tried, Makeup Revolution, I am looking at your promenades. They are quite solid and just very oily and they just don't make for the most fun application. Whereas these ones, I would definitely say, are more reminiscent of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Oh, holy vaginas and balls. So my... Oh, I can't look up now. This is so awkward, guys. So my... A neighbour who lives opposite, she's called Carmen, she is in her bedroom and she's looking out and I was just in full flow as you saw just talking about my promenade and you know when you get that feeling that somebody is looking at you, well I must have had that feeling because I looked up and there she was just in the window just staring in. Have some decorum Carmen, I mean really, I, I, I'm sat here and I'm in my room and I'm obviously filming a YouTube video. This is not something that needs to be stared at honestly like oh my gosh guys how awkward is that and I actually think she's clearing out her wardrobe or something so I don't think she's going anywhere so I, I should just get used to the fact that every so often Carmen she's going to be peeping in she's going to be watching me live I mean really guys but anyway so I like Carmen she's absolutely lovely um they're really nice um but I don't really know them. It's just like a waving relationship where, like, you know, your neighbours, like, you living in a close proximity to them, but you don't want to get to know them, but you'll happily just do a wave. And, like, that's the kind of relationship I want to have with my neighbours. And that's what me and Carmen have, apart from when sometimes she will peep in whilst I'm filming my videos, but that's fine. Anyway, guys, yes. So these remind me of the ABH promenade. Uh, it's just really, really fun to use. And I would definitely say that if you are looking for a coloured promenade, you could not go wrong with these. I know that NYX do colour promenades. I think Colourpop do. I'm sure multiple other brands do as well but I would challenge you to find any that are cheaper than these and as good honestly that's my challenge I'm throwing out the challenge gauntlet I've not tried the blue one 
I like I'm a bit nervous about this but I definitely feel like the blue currently would really really complement my hair uh, I've kind of realized along my journey of having neon peach hair that not many things actually go with uh, neon peach black goes with it light blue or like any color blue kind of goes with the the neon peach like my nails nothing else does so i kind of i am struggling a bit at the moment but i do believe that this ah oh, it would look so good do you know what yes to this yes to this i'm going to be trying to get out as soon as possible okay so the next uh, item that i got is a found ideation so this is by fira it's called the natural look liquid foundation it's in a squeezy tube which is my favorite i've got this in the shade nude and it just like oh my gosh oh my gosh so you know since the whole asbestos situation i have been paying such close attention to ingredients and I am kind of taking it upon myself to just become more uh, aware and knowledgeable about ingredients and you know what to maybe try and avoid so now whenever I get any products like any, from anywhere whether it be Aliexpress, Boots, Tesco, Superdrug, anywhere I am always checking for talc. Luckily, this does not have talc in it, which is great. Um, but it's really, really strange because on the back, it's got an American flag. And it says, uh, designed in the USA, made in China. I don't really see the point of that little statement being on the back. Because it's kind of like saying... Like, if it said made in the USA, then I would be like, oh, wow, that's a shocker. I didn't expect that. But they're not saying that. They're just telling me it was... It was designed in the USA have you ever seen that statement on a product before I think they're just trying to make themselves look good they are you know Fira I can't knock your game I just can't you're a hustler I get it a little bit over the top I would say so back to the actual foundation so this one claims to be full coverage buildable it claims to be velvety matte oil free lightweight long wear Flawless, broad spectrum, it claims to have SPF 25 in. A whole lot of claims going on here. I am definitely going to try her out soon. I haven't had the best luck with AliExpress foundations, honestly. I found a few that have been really good, but I've also found many that have been utter shit, honestly. So... This one, we just don't know, but I have high hopes she will be fabulous because she was designed in the USA. I mean, really, guys, I mean, I don't mean that. Like, if she was designed anywhere, I would, wouldn't care. I'd be like, don't really care. She could have been designed in Carmen's bedroom for all I care. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, okay, so guys, the next product is really fun. And I used to have one of these but I somehow managed to lose it and that has been a big regret in my life honestly because it's such a fun product um but I got a stamp eyeliner so this one is I believe it's in the shape I always say pink I hope this is what I think it is and now I'm thinking it's not what I think it is like I was hoping this was gonna be you know the little star stamp eyeliners I don't know, that's what I'm hoping it is. But now I'm thinking it's not because it says like shade pink and I didn't know there was an option for a shade pink. Okay, so it's a dual ended product. One side says eyeliner, one side says stamp. Guys, I'm going to be so, so truly and utterly disappointed if this is not a star stamp because I, that's what I thought it was. Anyway, let me just open her up before I get too overwhelmed with potential disappointment this is how my brain works it will worry about every eventuality of every situation before it happens and then you know the situation is never that bad but my brain has just taken me on this roller coaster ride of pain anguish torture uh, the night before I'm doing anything like whether it be, oh, I've got to go to Tesco tomorrow, then I'll be freaking out. I'll be like, oh, 
I've got to have a WebEx meeting tomorrow. I'll be freaking out. Oh, I've got to go and have a smear test tomorrow. I'll be freaking out. But I'm fair. For, for good reason, like really with that one. But, oh, Carmen's not there, do you know what? She's not there. I think she realised the error of her ways that she shouldn't really, oh, she's still there, oh shit. So, we have the eyeliner, and this looks to be uh, shit, actually, shit. What is that? What is that? Like, what is it? Do you know what, like, for me, when I think of eyeliner, I think creamy, I think pigmented, I think opaque. I don't think sheer, looking like a red wine stain, just absolutely disgustingly emollient. That's definitely, definitely not what I think when I think of an eyeliner. So... For a start, I'm very disappointed about that. So let's see. No, it's not a star stamp. It's not. And I, I'm just so disappointed because I really thought it would be a star stamp and it's not. And I've ordered a star stamp. So where is my star stamp? Like, where is she? I'm sure I've ordered about three star stamps and none of them have turned up. You know what? I feel like I should have had more AliExpress deliveries recently than I've had because I ordered a feck load of things during lockdown and the only thing I got was this fecking shitty pink eyeliner that I just feel like it doesn't deserve to be called an eyeliner because it's so shit. I got the eyebrow pronouns, they're brilliant, that's great, but I just feel like I'm going to throw this in the bin. That's how salty I feel about it, really. I just don't even want to give her any more of my time. Okay, so guys, next we have the most amazing pair of dingly danglies that I've ever seen in my life. Yes, these Tim Burton-esque ones, they are fabulous. Yes, they are. Yes, my gothic ones are fabulous. Yes, they are. But, but, none will ever, ever, ever make me as happy as the ones I'm about to show you. Just wait for this, guys. I'll be back. Yes, guys, yes, you are really seeing this. This is happening. This is reality. Look at these. Are these just not the cutest, most ostentatious, gregarious, extravagant dingly danglies that you've ever seen? They are a beautiful, sassy pole dancer. She's wearing the most seductive knee-high pink boots. She has turquoise hair as she is living her very best life upon the silver pole i know that these are definitely not going to be everybody's cup of tea and i can definitely say i will never be wearing these outside of my house okay so funny story about these earrings and their fate but they managed to completely humiliate me before said fate so after this video was filmed i took off the earrings or so i thought and put them in my little earring tray and i was out at the front of the house with alex because alex is obsessed with cars so his favorite pastime is to just stand on the street and check out the cars going past so I was stood with Alex and we were just waving at the cars. They were waving back. We were just having a great time. Then our neighbour, Steve, went past and he pulled up. So I was just having a little chat to him and I had a, I was holding Alex. So I went to put Alex down and something fell out of my top. And I was thinking, what's this? Look down. It was only the fucking pole dancer earring she was just there she was laying on the ground steve definitely saw her and i saw her and we looked at her together and then we met eyes he must have just been thinking what the hell like where has that come from i can only imagine that when i was taking out the earrings one of them just kind of maybe got caught in my top only to embarrass me later I'm just really, really pleased that this did not happen in a professional 
environment. Could you imagine me being in a professional meeting and then the stripper earring falls out onto the onto the desk? I mean, this is typical of the kind of shenanigans that I find myself in. I mean, who would have ever have thought that earring would have ended up on my pavement and my neighbour would have seen it? I mean, I would never have thought that would have happened, but it did. And by the way, I hope that no one's offended by me saying stripper because I was very careful to say pole dancer because I didn't want to cause any offence. But by the way, I love pole dancers and strippers. Like I used to work in a strip club, not as a stripper. I keep saying the word stripper and I don't mean to, but I used to work in a, in a pole dancing club and I have the utmost respect for professional dancers. I do. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that story because it's just classic of the scrapes I find myself in. Mm -hmm. I think they're, they're everything. They are everything to me right now. Well, they're not, but I really like them. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the fabulous earrings and the makeup portion of this haul. I'm next going to show you the couple of clothing items that I got. So I am going to begin with a pair of shorts that I got. So these are tie-dye shorts. I absolutely love the colour combination. They are two-toned. You have a bright kind of almost neon yellow with a charcoal grey. You've got this whole kind of tie-dye look which I'm a sucker for anything tie-dye, like I would just buy anything tie-dye. So these shorts have this kind of ribbed effect and they also have like laces and I don't know why they have laces but I assume it's so that you can kind of squeeze up the sides for maximum bum impact and you know what? If there's one thing I want in my life, it's maximum bum impact. I'm kind of hoping that are these shorts are just going to make my bum look great, if I'm being honest, because they've got this kind of, um, this wrinkling situation going on back here. I'm, I'm hoping anyway, it's gonna just make my bum look like really big and bouncy. I don't know quite how I'm imagining that this piece of fabric is gonna suddenly give me like the best bum in the world. I don't know how I'm imagining that it's gonna do that, but, you know, I have very high expectations because I saw the pictures and the model's bum was outstandingly, like, it was amazing. So I'm just thinking that, like, that's that's what's going to happen to me, surely. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try these on now and we can see together the outcome. Let's see how great my bum looks. And I hope it's great. I just hope... I just hope, oh, Carmen's going to love this one. If Carmen is still peeping in, she's going to love it because she's going to see my bum looking the best it's ever looked. So, okay, so just before I show you how fabulous my bum is about to look, I just wanted to give a little shout out to my rainbow cycling shorts. So I never really had myself down for a cycling short aficionado, but apparently I am because I just love the lifestyle anyway also as well this gives us a good opportunity to check out my bum just in these shorts so that you know you've got a direct comparison you know is she nothing special she's just a little pair of buttocks but um anyway let's see the fabulous shorts in action I've actually shut my curtains because I just I don't think Carmen's quite ready for this today I just don't Okay, so here we have the shorts. They are actually like, they are so comfy, like super comfy. In the past when I've bought clothes from AliExpress, I've always found that the, the, the fabric has felt quite cheap, not really very cosy and comfortable. Whereas these feel like really, really good quality shorts. Um, and how's it making my bum look, guys? Like, what are we thinking? Do you know what? I feel like it's definitely made my buttocks more rounded. I don't know what these stringy things are for. Oh, oh, I see. So I think you go like this. Oh, okay, okay. I don't think I like that, actually. I think I would just go like this. And then what are you meant to do with the strings? 
Like, why? Why do we need these? I don't need these. I'm going to cut them off. I'm, I definitely am. I can't see what benefit these things would have other than making the shorts shorter. Like, you could customise the length of your shorts, but I don't feel like I need that. So I'm probably just going to, like, I'll tuck them in for now and then I'll just cut cut them off later. I just feel like my bum, is it looking good? Let me see in here. Yeah, I feel like my bum looks good actually. I like that. I like it. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my gosh, so I kind of take, well I don't take back everything I said before because previously I've not had a good experience with clothes from AliExpress but I really really like these shorts they're super comfy they were super affordable I like the design oh you can actually see my bum in the background oh my gosh isn't that fun okay so I can just be like showing you as I'm speaking but yeah I like I'm feeling it my very best self in the shorts I'm really really liking them and I, um, yes, guys, th these are a winner. And I think Honey's, he's going to love them too. So, double winner. Anyway, so guys, so the next clothing item that I have to show you today is, again, it's kind of like another pair of shorts, but not just shorts. We have a top. So this is an all-in-one kind of play suit. This is what she looks like. I mean, I have tried this item on before and... I kind of liked it, she's very comfy, very cosy, very cute, but the problem is, is that she's a little bit too big for me, uh, which is a shame, but I'm going to pop her on and then you can actually see her in action. A horse has gone past. There's a horse going past, what the feck is happening today? Horse? What is even going on right now? Like Honeys is out there, the boys are out there. Okay, Carmen definitely has seen more than she was expecting to today. Okay, so this is the second clothing item that I've got. You can kind of see the, you can see the idea with this. It's like really, really cute. It's an all-in-one shorts. It goes up at the back and it opens up. You could actually turn this into like a really sexy, outfit if you decided not to wear anything on the top but I'm not doing that obviously that's not me not the lifestyle I lead but I think it's actually really really cute it's really really comfy it's kind of like a kind of like a swimming costume material but it's just a little bit too big unfortunately so it kind of baggies down here a little bit like I don't want to have this bagging down here I definitely should have got a um, smaller size, but that's the problem with AliExpress clothes. Um, I do find that a lot of the sizes are quite small. This is a medium, um, but I think I should have got a small. Um, uh, but anyway, th that's all done now. I've made my mistakes. And I, 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 I know, I heard the horse, and I looked out the window and I saw it. Was it one of the brown? Ones. I saw him go for I heard him. I heard him go. Yeah, he was so cool. I saw him and Jay saw him. He was so cool, wasn't he? I wonder what he was doing. He ate grass at the bottom. Did he? That is funny. And at the bottom, go on this. <laughs> Again. Oh, that is so funny, my loves. Oh, you. That is the whole finished for today. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed it. I will be trying out the blue promenade ASAP. I feel like I've got something stuck in my throat, which is why if I'm talking like a little bit hesitantly, it's because I feel like at any minute <clears throat> that I'm going to bid you sweeter you out. You have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day and I hope to see you again in the future in the future <laughs> I'm so bad at ending videos it's unbelievable but anyway I'm gonna go thank you for watching 